video you watch is Bola Metinibu leaving a London hospital. Nigerians have been asking the whereabouts of Bola Metinibu and you know, when you have a president that do not talk to the people, he doesn't appear on the television, he doesn't grant interview, you won't even know his whereabouts. For some time now, Nigerians do not even know the whereabouts of their president. Ever since the protests happened, Nigerians have not even seen their president. He was not even seen during the protest, he did a recorded broadcast. That's the kind of president we have in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Everything is done in secrecy. Now he was spotted in, in London leaving a hospital. And from the way you saw that video, it shows that Bola Metinibu is not feeling fine. He looks free, he looks fragile. Something is wrong with the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and his handlers, the people behind him, they don't want Nigerians to know what is happening to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Of course, this happened when you're voting someone that did not grant press interview. When was the last time Bola Metinibu held a press conference like talk to the press? We're not even talking about talking to Nigerians, talk to the press. And of course, Bola Metinibu is continuing from the footstep of President Muhammadu Bari. All through the state of President Muhammadu Bari tenure as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Nigerians were not even aware of his movement. He moved in and out of the country whenever he likes. Bari seek for medical attention whenever he likes. This is the same trajectory that Bola Metinibu is going. The only time we saw a photo of him was when his handler posted that he met with King Charles in London. That same King Charles he met in London, it was reported that he has cancer. Like, they let the people of UK know that their king is suffering from cancer. That is a country that values their citizen. That is a country that respects the laws in their land. But here in Nigeria, you don't even know what is wrong with your president. All he does is to travel to the UK and he will tell you that he's going for an official visit. He travel to France and tell you he'll go for an official visit. Nobody even knows what he's going to do in France. Nobody even knows what he's going to do in UK. And the next thing you will see him is breezing in and out of a hospital. And everywhere is quiet. Of a truth, Nigerian politicians are very, very lucky to have this set of human beings in Nigeria because they can do whatever they want to do and go scot free with it. What our politicians are doing in this country, other politicians cannot do it in another country and they go scot free. When you are a public official, when you are a public holder, you come under intense scrutiny from the people. You are serving the people. You are loyal to the people. You are accountable to the people. Whatever you do, you have to give account to the people. But here in Nigeria, our politicians are loyal to themselves. They are not loyal to their people. They are not accountable to the people. Yet, they use money meant for the people to buy whatever they need for themselves. Bola Metinibu used Nigerian money to buy a 150 million presidential jet. That money belonged to the people, but yet he cannot give account to the people. He is not even accountable to the people. He is in London, but he did not even tell the people what he's going to do in London. The video that you just see is a leaked video as you can see, maybe someone saw him and took that video of him leaving the hospital in London. Why shouldn't the people know where their president is? Why shouldn't the people know when their president is visiting a hospital? Why shouldn't the people know when their president is sick? This can only happen in Nigeria because our politicians do not care about us. This can only happen in Nigeria because our politicians are not accountable to us. This can only happen in Nigeria because our politicians see us as an avenue to advance their personal selfish aggrandizement. To think of it, when you look at Bola Metinibu from that video, you can see clearly that he is looking very sick. He can barely walk. This is what we've experienced even during the campaign proper. Bola Metinibu is not fit to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But yet, he wants to be the president. He wants to rule over 200 million persons. Now he has been given the mandate to rule over 200 million persons. But you can see that the economy is sick. Nigeria is sick. Of course, because the same person that is leading this country is not fit to lead this country. This country needs somebody that is vibrant. This country needs somebody that should be everywhere. So many things have happened in this country and the president has not even visited. Many people have been killed in different parts of this country. The president has not even visited them to commiserate with them. This is what public service is all about. I could remember one particular time there was flood in Florida. The president, Donald Trump, entered a boat and was rescuing people in Florida. But we can't even see that in Nigeria. Whatever happened to you in this country, you are on your own. And I could remember clearly that they were telling us that they do not need the body of the president. All they needed was his brain. How can you tell me that you do not need the body of the president, you needed the brain? 
he is now in charge of a country of over 200 million persons and his brain is even failing him more of course whatever is happening in nigeria today is as a result that the president is not fit physically mentally and otherwise the country is boiling nigerians are going through the most difficult part in their life there is fuel scarcity the president is not even addressing the issue we are buying fuel for 1500 naira no words from the president why will he say anything when he's in london enjoying himself and treating himself whereas nigerians cannot even have the money to take care of themselves when they have medical e emergency the removal has stirred significant public debates what would you have done differently? Because I remember you did say that from day one, you say subsidy is gone. And what would you have done? I didn't say from day one. I said oh, I would okay. remove subsidy. You remove it. Okay. You know, I didn't say from day one. And I wouldn't have done it from day just one. Uh, on that announcement. Okay. I said, go and read my manifesto. There's, I have to first remove the criminality associated with the subsidy. Because the criminality was over 50% of the subsidy. And then after removing it, we would have been able to present a detailed cost to Nigeria. And replacing it with an alternative. What happens here is that people are ready to sacrifice. And they're sacrificing. No, now. but you can't ask people to fast when you're fist. Everybody has to fast at the same time. So you cannot be in the party enjoying yourself in picnic and everything. Going around with the new jets and yachts and everything at the expense of the public. That is not leadership. Are it's you claiming that Mr. Uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is not giving leadership to Nigeria today? Well, I said, you can't buy New York, New York, you can't buy yachts. You can't be renovating houses of vice president. Where did you see Banjo live? People can live in their houses and govern Nigeria. Where did they live? When I, when I had no, no place to live in Oka as a governor, I asked them, don't we have any other government house? They said there's a small three-bedroom house in Onicha. I went to live in Onicha. I was living in Onita for the one year. Ask anybody in Anambra State. I lived in Onita. Onita Kaoka is 30 minutes. Until we're able to build a new, and where we built and I maintain it, it do. When I was governor, throughout the year I was governor, I lived in a three bedroom house. Because Downing Street, where the British Prime Minister lives, is four rooms. Four rooms. For an economy that is 10 times our economy, more than per capita in the UK is about $40,000. Per capita in Nigeria is one time, it's not up to 5% of, of that. So, if I were so to the, put you on the top of a roof to say, scream to Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, what would you be saying to him about the idea of Nigerians saying the presidency is living large? What would you be saying to him? Please cut the cost drastically. There's too much waste. Why would we have a clinic being built for 22 billion naira when your national clinic, your number one hospital, have less than two billion? It takes from from Asrock to national clinic is more, not can be more than five kilometers. So why the clinic? When Trump had a problem, they didn't take him to White House Clinic. They took him to the military hospital where every other person went, but it's just they had COVID. They took him to hospital. Me and you can go. That's it's hospital. True. Why are we always doing what is wrong? Okay. It's just hospital. And he has ambulance all over the place. Even when he's moving, could not go on? They move with ambulance. Which other people So if anything happened, the ambulance will take him to the National Hospital. Yeah, excellent. Should Good actually point. be there. Yeah.